I've been asthmatic ever since I was born. I've had serious attacks, but I've never felt this close to death. So jet planes in the night sky with you. What's up guys? I hope you're all doing great. For me today, I just want to thank God that I'm in the wake up list. Because I know many did not make it like I did. So for the past two weeks, I've been really down with this deadly virus. It wasn't really an experience I would want anyone to go through. So mine started out as a sore throat. And uh, probably that's why you've not been seeing much of me. So it started out as a sore throat. But the good thing about me is uh, I'm always a prepper. I'm the kind of person who will build an underground house to hide when things get bad up here and build a tower when maybe floods come. So I'm kind of always prepared. So having been living in this pandemic, I equipped myself with the kind of medication that had been recommended. And uh, the moment I felt a sore throat, I did not hesitate. Okay, at, at that point, I really didn't know what was uh, really happening to me, but I just didn't want to take chances. So immediately, I went on medication. I took my antibiotics and this kind of combination of drugs just to take precaution it's not like at that moment i was really sure of what was going on so i took the medication and uh, uh like uh, after one week i felt some relief because uh let's say by day by day three, I'd already lost my sense of smell and taste. I just couldn't smell anything. Actually, I was I was uh, eating, but it's like you're chewing pepper because you don't taste, you can't smell your food, you can't really feel anything. So after one week, I felt some kind of relief after being on medication. Then... Uh, I actually went out just to meet people and I had a good time that weekend. When I came back home, that was a Saturday, I was fine on Sunday evening. I started getting a, the fever started coming back and on Monday I was down again. So I took a second dose. So I continued with uh, my medication. At that point, it really came back harder than the first one. Now, I couldn't even breathe because uh, I have pre-existing conditions. Like uh, I have, I've been asthmatic ever since I was born. So this didn't make it any easier for me. So when it came back, I actually had an asthmatic attack as well. And you know, asthma and uh, breathing problems come together. So I couldn't breathe. My chest was just so painful. I lost that sense of smell again. And uh, it was crazy. I was sick actually. I knew I was dying. I actually called my sister and <laughs> told her where she can find my money. I actually gave, like I gave my will. Eh? So I was sick actually. I was having fevers and when it was not fevers, it was chills. Like it's hot and uh, you're feeling cold. And at some time with the Nairobi cold, 
I was sweating. So it wasn't easy for me. But I really thank God I'm out of it. I'm not completely healed yet, but at least I feel fine. I still have a problem with my chest. It kind of feels heavy, I don't know, compact. Because I'm supposed to be exercising because I've been in bed for like almost 20 days. So at least I should be exercising. But because uh, I'm still trying to manage my asthma, so I cannot exercise. Because with asthma, the moment you jump around or do stuff, walk, even just walking, gets my chest so congested so i can still not exercise i'm just trying to walk around the, the house a bit actually this is my second last day in quarantine i've just been uh, doing it here in the house i did not go to i only went to hospital to get tested so that's what i've been going through but here i am i have a second chance and I'm really grateful because I know so many people who we've been sick with, same time, who've lost their lives. I'm really grateful to God that he's given me a second chance. And uh, I really want to make use of it. I want to live my best life because uh, it's not easy getting a second chance. So, during my sickness, there are guys who called, and I'm really grateful for those calls. I'm grateful for all the messages, all the well wishes. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Your messages encouraged me. And even when it reached a point when I thought I was really dying, I was actually afraid to fall asleep, yet I did not even have that energy to stay awake because... I could not even sit down. When I tried to sit down, I actually fell back in bed and just slept. I was so weak. When in your body doesn't have any energy to keep you up. So I was like sleeping 24-7 because I couldn't stay up. I'm really grateful for those messages. And uh, there are people who came up asking me, have you taken the vaccine? Most of them are not Kenyans, are not, okay, they are Kenyans, but they're not in Africa. So they really don't know what we're actually going through here in Africa. So they were asking, have you gotten the vaccine? Have you done this? Where do we get the vaccine? It's not even here. You can't get it even if you had the money to, to, to buy it and ha have it done. There's no vaccine in Kenya at the moment. I called, I've called uh, some hospitals, the major ones. The big hospitals they don't have the vaccine so this is africa it is just god for us <laughs> we don't have a choice those who have the vaccine are holding it and maybe it's like african lives are not considered a priority so it's just god for us we'll manage it whichever way it comes and probably someday we'll be able to have our own vaccines and uh, get treatment or get protected from this disease. Thank you so much guys for watching and please take care. This thing is not easy. I've never in my life, I've been asthmatic ever since I was born. I've had serious attacks, but I've never felt this close to death. So... Please take care of yourselves, wear your mask, just keep that social distance, stay safe please. Thank you so much for watching, please remember to subscribe because now I'm back, a lot will be happening. I want to go into my adventure travels because that is what I love, I love traveling, I love discovering new things. So. I'm going to be doing adventure travels on this channel. Please don't miss out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.